All right, well, good Thursday evening from Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We're going to go to a place. It's been a couple of years since we've been here. We used to come here often. We're going to go in Cheddar Scratch Kitchen tonight, and uh, I'll talk to y'all inside because we're starved to death. We're going to go on in. This is the shortest intro ever, uh, but we're here tonight kind of by default. This is not where we planned to come initially, is it? No. So we'll get more into that a little bit later, but they got a really good deal going on that we're going to tell y'all about. So let's step inside here and have some supper. Okay, well, this is starting off uh, with a bang. Uh, nothing like service with a smile. From Was he indeed the manager? I guess he's the manager on duty tonight. So here's what's happened. Um, we were kind of excited about coming over here. We actually were gonna call ahead about 30 minutes ago. So you went online and found the wait time and it says party, you enter how many people's in your party. It says party two, two. no wait time. So we get over here and the guy tells says it's gonna be about a 35 minute wait. And I said, well, it says online no wait time. He says, he says, keep that on your phone. My manager's telling me to tell people that there's a uh, 35 minute wait time. So then I see him go talk to the manager and um, the manager's a real sweetheart, isn't he? If he is, yeah. So he um, comes over there and says, well, they lied to you online. I said, well, what do you mean they lied? That's what he said. It was his words. He said they uh, lied to yeah. you. And uh, he says, I said, you got empty tables all over this restaurant. And they do. He says, you don't have enough servers. You're going to have to wait. And then he says, I can see you, but you're still going to have to wait. I said, well, I'd rather, that's fine. I don't mind waiting sitting down. But basically, their own line says no wait time. Their manager's telling everybody, telling their hostesses to tell everybody there's a wait time. So, don't know what's going on. So, I just showed him that on the phone and he got very irritated. So, he says, well, fine, I'll seat you. And then he called us out in front of other people who were standing there. Yeah. We're seating you in front of everybody else. That's I didn't ask him to seat us in front of other people like, who had been how waiting. How embarrassing. He asked if we uh, was on the wait list. I said, no, we were going to call, but when we saw that, we didn't know we had to. He says, well, they lied to you. That's what he said. That's his own words. They lied yeah, to you. Yeah, he did say that. So, this manager, um, look, I don't have any in for nobody, but I've never... Uh, at least since we've been doing this, had that kind of experience. No. So anyway, we're here. <laughs> so we're gonna look at the menu. Yeah. So. Oh, so we're gonna go over the menu. Let me prop it up here. Try to get the shadow and the glare off of it. So, Cheddar's has a pretty good variety of stuff on the menu. Um, Shaughnessy is a Cheddar's fan. Uh, we don't have one really close to us. Probably Gastonia is the closest one, about 45 minutes away. So anyway, let's go over the menu right quick. Let me back up and go back to the appetizers. That that man just kind of got me a little bit. Uh, mango tea. Mango tea. So I guess our server is the manager. No, the lady is. He just brought that over. Oh, okay. Well, he was just taking the drink order then, I guess. All right, I didn't so. remember them bringing bread. Huh? I didn't remember them bringing bread. Well, I don't either. I ain't complaining. This menu is a little bit hard to, to capture. I'm having to do it by sections here because of the way it's laid out. Make sure I get everything. 
I'm not even sure if that's on this menu or not. So. It's on the drink side on the back. Okay. All right, then down here is seafood. I believe I got everything on the front. So, all right, so let me flip this over. That bread actually looks good. Take a look at that bread. Can you yeah, slide that back out of the way? All right, so we're going to start over here with desserts. And I ordered the mango tea. I do like their mango tea here. I think we're going to go for that uh, appetizer Wisconsin cheese bites. So, you ready to order? Would you have any? Yeah, right. So the manager is actually taking our order now, and he has uh, <laughs> all of a sudden had a major attitude change. He's actually being very nice and helpful now. I don't know if he feels bad or if he saw her recording me talking, but you said you think he saw you. Well, I was looking at you, but I saw him out the corner of my eye go by. So he, he, he has done an about face, so I will at least be fair and say that, mm -hmm. but um, starting off, he was not being... Yeah, he's very polite now. Very, very professional, nice. but he is getting better, so yeah. uh, we'll see how it goes the rest of the night. So we have placed our order. So what is that, a croissant? Mm -hmm. uh, or what do they call those? Is croissant. that croissant? Um, all right, so how is it? So they're not really hot, but they've got like a... Um, they look very good. Like a sweet butter. Oh, so they're good, like a honey butter. Okay. Looks like a fish aquarium here with some very pretty looking tropical fish. So here are the Wisconsin cheddar cheese bites. So why don't you give those a try? And I'm going to do the same. Good and cheesy, not overly hot, but good and cheesy. They're not hot, but they're good and flavorful. Mm -hmm. I like that batter. Okay, now Shaughnessy has a special dish that she gets pretty much every time you come to Cheddar's, <laughs> which hasn't been too often lately, but uh, tell us what it is. It's a New Orleans pasta. So it's a penne pasta and it's got like a Cajun um, Alfredo like sauce. It's got shrimp and chicken and sausage in it. And I would love it too if it didn't have the onions. They put peppers. Did it, I thought it was onions. I don't remember onions, but I know they have peppers. Okay. Too. It might be onions too. All right, but that's what you generally get. You've made that at home a few times without the onions and peppers, and I, I like it. But it's good. Anyway, that's not what I got, but that's what you pretty much always get, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I got the, um, they're, they're running a special for a limited time. That's kind of why we're here. Uh, this was like a last two-hour decision. We actually have planned all week to go uh, to somewhere else tonight. We'll talk more about that in the closeout. But I happen to remember that they had a special going on. It's a 16 ounce bone in ribeye steak for $22.49. Now you can't touch a 16 ounce ribeye steak in this area for $22.49. So um, we decided to come here tonight. Uh, instead, she hadn't been to Cheddar's in a while. You, you're a fan of Cheddar's. No, yeah. And I like it, but mm -hmm. um, we just don't have one close to us. And it's either here or in Gastonia. It's pretty much the only time we're ever near one. So. Anyway, we just decided to come on over here tonight. Um, so, waiting for the food to come out. The uh, cheddar cheese bites were good. They weren't right out of the fryer. I mean, they weren't hot, but um, very flavorful. And um, you got anything you want to say about those? Well, no, I agree with you. They weren't like overly hot, but yeah, they did have a good taste and they're dipping in the ranch was good. So we're eating kind of late tonight. We just got into town. You had to work a full day. I had to work till five. So yeah. what is it now? 8.30ish probably, I'm guessing? Uh, 844. 844. Mm -hmm. All right, so anyway, um, the service has been very quick. Yes, uh, all of a sudden. <laughs> but anyway, we'll talk more about that. Hope the rest of the night goes smoothly. Yep. All right, here's the New Orleans pasta. That actually looks really good. It does. Big old bowl. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Can you smile? Here is mine, the ribeye steak. That actually <laughs> looks like, quite good too. So. We will let you know how it goes. And that steak there. Uh, so it's got like melted butter over it and makes it look really good. It's got some kind of 
what is that oregano or is that some kind of I'd say it's probably herb. parsley. Parsley, yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a garlic butter that they put on it. Okay, so I'm gonna cut into that. Take a bite. I ordered it medium as I always do, and it looks to be. I see a lot of pink on the inside, so I'd say it's somewhere medium to medium rare. So. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. So those potatoes, it's bacon. Bacon cheddar. cheese. Yeah, bacon cheddar cheese. So they just basically sprinkle it on top. Looks like. <laughs> yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> So tell us if this is as good as um, you remember it. Okay, so it does have onions in it. I told you. You're right. That's the first thing she eats, too. What? <laughs> well, that's the first thing you eat, too. Well, that's just because it was on my fork. <laughs> take a bite of it and see if it's still as good as you remember it being. Mm -hmm. All right. Is it good and hot? It looks like it's hot. It is hot. I see the steam coming off of it. One thing I will notice is the shrimp here. You notice it's got the tails on it. Remember when we were at Turtles, it yes. was like that. Yes, oh, Siesta Key. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. Yes, that's the new thing. But it's like it's got shrimp and here's um, sausage. Yeah. And then some ch chicken bits in there too. All right. And good looking piece of garlic bread there. Yep. All right. Well, just finished up at Cheddar's uh, here in Pigeon Forge. So, I don't really know where to start with this one. Uh, well, let me tell you why we're here, first of all. Uh, it's been a while since we've been to Cheddar's. You've always loved it. I'm, I've always, you know, thought it was pretty good. Um, so, we t all week in preparation for this trip, we wanted to come up and we're going to go to Dollywood tomorrow. So we've been talking about where we were going to eat. We knew it was going to be getting into town late. So, our first thing was we're just going to stay around Gatlinburg since that's where our motel is. And we hadn't been to the Cherokee Grill in a while. now. It's no secret that Cherokee Grill, in my opinion, is the best steak in Gatlinburg that I've had uh, by far ahead of anybody else. So uh, we did a review there uh, over two years ago. Uh, I didn't realize how long it had been. That was like one of our first 25 videos we ever did. We now have 467 videos. So you need to go watch it and look yeah. at my hair, how different it was then. <laughs> that's that's him. why everybody would want to like, go watch a restaurant. My hair. <laughs> anyway, we reviewed the food too. So um, <laughs> anyway, uh, so that review, it's been two years. I think that's the last time we've actually been to the Cherokee <laughs> Grill. There for a while, we were going a lot. Yeah. And um, just when you do these videos, you want to try a lot of different places. So we hadn't been back, but that has always been my favorite steak in Gatlinburg. So I told her, I said, I want to go to Cherokee Grill. So that's, that was kind of the plan all week. Then it kind of came to my attention. I think... Cindy from the VA Fund Seekers mentioned this. They went after we did, and there had been a policy change about how um, they used to give you two sides. You could choose between the potatoes and the blue cheese grits, then add another side. And I think by the time they went, uh, Cherokee Grill had taken one side off. You only get one side with your steak now. So I was still going to go, even though you know I didn't know why they did that. They went up on price and then uh, took away from what you get as well. So we were still going to go there tonight because I just really didn't want one of their steaks. And then it hit me. I had seen a commercial or something on Facebook, I don't remember, about Cheddar's having a 16-ounce ribeye, bone-in. Excuse me. I get like this every time I eat a 16-ounce ribeye. <laughs> um, they had one for, uh, I thought it was $21.99, but it's $22.49. And you get two sides with it. So um, I just asked her, I said, you know, we've not been to Cheddar's in a while. Do you want to ride on over to Pigeon Forge? And... I'll go for that steak tonight. It seemed like it was a much cheaper deal than what I would have paid at Cherokee Grill, and it was. So, naturally, she jumped on that because she likes the New Orleans pasta, or did. We'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> so, we get here tonight. We, you know, we were going to actually call ahead or go online and put our names in when we knew we were about 20 minutes away. So, you went on. You found it on their website. Well, let me back <clears> up. So, when I first checked their menu to confirm that they were having the steak special, which was what maybe an hour and a half ago it said like maybe a 15 20 minute wait now yeah. it says okay well we'll check it when we get closer so when we got closer to gatlinburg right before we checked in no wait no way on the way over here he checked it again no wait 
Yeah. Okay. Now so we didn't call and put our we didn't go and put our names in right. or anything. So we didn't think no we need. had to. So pull in and the parking lot's full and like. Yeah, we, okay. so we get here, and the host, the, the guy mm -hmm. comes up to us and says, it's going to be about a 35-minute wait. I said, no, wait a minute. I said, we just checked online. It said, no way. He says, well, if you can pull that up, says, save that or screenshot it. And he says, I'm going to show it to my manager because he's telling us to tell people that there's going to be an X amount of wait time. So I see him go over and talk to the manager who comes over and um, – tells us it's going to be about 15, he changes it, says it's going to be about 15, 20 minute wait. I said, well, that sounds better. I said, but I said, the thing is we could, he has said, are you on the wait list? I said, well, no, we were going to be, but when we saw there was no wait, we didn't know we still needed it. So he looks at, well, they lied to you. Because he showed in the screenshot. Yeah, he says they lied to you. I don't know who the they is. It has to be somebody here that's putting that information in. It's their reservation system, yeah. Yeah, but then he says a computer don't know how, how many, uh, how much the wait time is. I said, well, I said, well, I, I did. I told him, I said, well, then they need to get it off there altogether. People depend on that information to be reasonably accurate. I said, just don't put it on there at all. Um, so he, then he kind of got, I don't know, what's the word? He says, he says, all right, we're, we're going to, he, he looks at the host and says, seat this guy. That's what he says. Seat this guy. He says, we'll put you ahead of other people. And I'm like, I didn't ask you to do that. <laughs> Which was kind of embarrassing. Cause yeah, because he, he was getting kind of. I didn't ask him to put us ahead of anybody. I don't know what other people's situations is, how many is in their party or how long. I don't know that. I just know that it said no wait time where you check it online. So he seats us and, you know, I'm trying just not to make it a bad experience because that's I've never had a manager act like that, to be honest with you. So he seats us, then he comes over to take our order, the same guy. And all of a sudden now... Super he couldn't nice. be more glad to see us and Super you know nice. brought us two crescent rolls and you said that when you were recording me he you think he looked over and saw I, the, well, it, I saw okay. him walk by now I don't know for sure if he looked because I was looking at the camera looking at you but I did see him because he's kind of a, a taller larger gentleman and as he walked by I could see him so he could have looked and thought saw me with the camera I don't know okay anyway whatever whatever happened either change of heart saw us recording or what uh, he became the most polite person you'd ever want to meet got so, our drinks right away got our drinks right away and it seemed like after that i mean we didn't even i didn't put up any kind of a, a fuss or anything i just told him i said i don't understand how they can say this on here and you're just telling me they lied you know so next thing i know uh they're taking our order the appetizer was out very quickly i mean like within minutes of ordering yeah. it um but when you saw me get up and go record the fish tank by the time i went back and sat down the appetizer was out and that was right after we placed the order so anyway, uh, got our food. Now I'm gonna let you start here. Sorry, uh, change arms. I'm gonna let you start and tell about the New Orleans pasta because I think maybe your experience was a little different. You want to say anything about your shirt tonight? Thanks, Melody. I love it. Some of our uh, our subscriber friends. Yeah. Um, she she knows I like sunflowers and From California you know, got a Christian T-shirt, so she sent me this and I love it. So, okay, so the pasta. Um, I mean, the sauce of it, the Cajun sauce, tasted the same. It's delicious as always. The pasta itself was cooked fine, no issue. The grilled shrimp on it was good. I ate all of those. Those were good. The sausage that they normally have in it, this almost was like a different, I don't know if it was a different kind or what, but it's kind of hard. The uh, sausage? Yeah, it just wasn't as good as I remembered it. And then the chicken, I, I told him, I said, I don't know this for a fact, I'm guessing. It's almost like leftover chicken that's been sitting there for a while that they just put in the pasta and the sauce, you know. You all right? Yeah, I'll be all right for you. Um, so I said, I don't know that for a fact. Chicken wasn't good, it was really dry, kind of hard too. Cause your first bite, you, you said that it was. See, I had just taken, well of course I ate the onion first and then I just ate some pasta with the um, sauce and that tasted fine. But the, like I said, the shrimp was really good. But the sausage and the chicken, mm -mm. And then the garlic bread was just regular garlic bread, it was fine. Um, so this is probably I just it, it wasn't like what it wasn't part. yeah it wasn't what I really remembered and it could be it's later in the evening too it's not as fresh I don't know um, will uh, I get it again when I come back here yeah you know probably will but because yeah, you didn't you didn't really eat all of it tonight we don't normally leave food no. and uh, she was kind of picking through it and I'm like well what's the matter <laughs> yeah, he's like are you not eating that like mm. um, anyway. So you would do it again? I would. I, I think it was just maybe late and just, you know. All right. So separating what happened when we got here, I want to try to leave that part separate and I'll tell you about the food. Um, 
So I ordered the ribeye steak. That's the reason we came over here, actually. Uh, I ordered the ribeye steak, 16 ounce, $22.49. Probably not a better deal in town than that if you want a steak. I don't think you're going to touch a 16 ounce ribeye in this area for that price. So I got that. Um, I got the mashed potatoes with the cheddar and bacon. That part sounded a lot better than it was. That was not... I would not get that again. And but, apparently it's a premium sack because it was $1.49 upcharge for yeah, it. Yeah, they upcharged with that. I didn't know they were going to do that. But anyway, it is what it is. So the corn, the buttered corn was actually good. I like that. I thought that was, that was fine. The steak itself, I ordered it medium. I always order my steaks medium. This was a medium rare steak, uh, especially as you got more towards the middle. It was less cooked. It took me longer to eat it because it was just kind of a little bit more but the flavor was fine. And a medium rare is not a deal killer for me. I can eat them like that. I just don't order them that way. But uh, a couple times I've had, I think Howard's did the same thing with a steak. That was your steak actually, Howard's. It just, was like it was a little undercooked from what we ordered it, but it was not anything I was gonna send back. So I thought the steak was good, flavorful. To be honest with you, um, for $22.49, it was worth every penny I paid for it. I'll, I'll say that. Um, is it the best steak in town? No, but I, it's up there with some of the ones that are cost a lot more. So I'll say it that way. So overall, I don't have a problem with the food per se, especially the steak. That was the reason I came. I don't have a problem with that. It was pretty, it was good. I'm stuffed. Uh, I'm struggling <laughs> to talk. Every time I eat myself full, it's hard for me to sit and do a closeout or stand and do a closeout. But that's it. It was kind of a mixed bag tonight. It was kind of, it started off bad, got better. The food was pretty good. So that's my review of Cheddar Scratch Kitchen here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. If you like this video and are still watching, <laughs> like and subscribe. And find and follow us on Facebook. All right, have a blessed day.